back to Hillis. Come with me for debriefing. We'll sing you our journey's song, but we'll need the main hall for the acoustics. There is death here, and the radiation of the stars shines through. Stop right there, you slime! No Imperial sets foot in my home. Last I heard, Ice and Four surrendered to the Empire. What's going on? Ha! Huh. Like you don't know. Someone sabotaged colony control. It started two hours after the surrender. First the tram accident, then the air filters, and the decompression. Assassin protocols and the medical droids? We surrendered! Why did you do it? I can't help you like this. But we can work together. I think I'd rather die. Sedative administered. Lethal overdose possible. He sings his last song. Say what you have to say. I need to know if you've seen an SIS agent. Codename Hunter. What? The SIS? Ugh. He went to colony control before we lost contact. I don't know if he made it out. But now it's sealed up tight. No one could make it past... Past the... Hold still. I have some painkillers. enough but thank you we should go we should find the one responsible identifying colony control systems locked down enter code remote access in progress The machinery is a parasite clinging to the colony controls. If Hunter was here, we think we should call our superiors. Agent, you recall we spoke to the diplomatic service about building an alliance between Empire and Kilix? Folner Eth, the man who offered his backing in return for our assistance, has asked us for his first favor. What's our diplomat friend after? Falner wants our notes on various families and unaligned worlds in the Questel sector. He means to bring that sector into the Empire. We worked in Questel a long while, and we knew its people well. It's odd to see someone else take the reins. You don't talk about your old life. We don't often have a reason to think about it. We do miss negotiating, reaching out to understand people, synthesizing their needs. Dizana of the Lessai Nest says that desire makes us a better joiner. It's only small comfort. You haven't forgotten your training. Even as Dawn Herald, you're an ambassador. Perhaps. But seeing men like Fulner again, we think it's best if he handles negotiations. Apologies, Agent. This is something we need to think on more deeply. But we are glad you stand by us. These people are volatile and extremely dangerous. Present yourself as a fellow inmate. Do not reveal your allegiance. We are releasing a dark swarm upon this world. These people will be our responsibility. They won't cause any problems. I won't let them. Warning. Security lockdown in process. Open prisoner files for Kanjan Slyke, Cheney Barrow, Ota, and Parkers. Disable cell failsafes. Cell failsafes disabled. Defenses will not be activated in case of breach. Open communications link. You have their attention. Tell them who you are. Now, Ota, why are you talking like that with a lady around? It is my nature to shed blood. I will not hide it or wait any longer. Huh. Don't think you have to. They expect a leader, but that's what they hate. Surprise them. We
Bet we can pick some tools off the bodies, but not the specialized stuff. Computer spikes and rebreathers are simple, but engineering equipment? Where do we find that here? Don't look at me. My brother took five years to assemble this stuff. It's up to our miracle worker. You are immune to mind control technologies, yet those defenses should be unavailable to the wider galaxy. Interesting. We will continue this discussion later. A formal apology should include a gift we know, but for now, we are sorry about that. What's going on? Caught ourselves a guard. Thought we'd have a little fun. You questioned him. You don't know much. Guards aren't in good shape between the prisoners and the Imperials coming through. He helped us with our maps, and I'm security clearance green now. Think he's probably tapped out. Want me to clean up? Get out of here. Anyone tries to stop him, you answer to me. You gotta be kidding. The order was clear. Mutilating a doll, you have triumphed over primitive technology. But you cannot conceive of the weapons I possess. Things your kind was not permitted to see. You keep talking about forbidden tech. How do you get it? My benefactors have been useful, at times. When you destroyed the core machine, you unleashed my microdroid swarm. Automata like gnats that can drill through flesh. They will infect your associate, and by the time you reach Mega Security War 23, he will stand alone. There are people alive here, but their auras are dull. This is a chance to leave Belsavis. Come with me and upload everything you know about your masters to Imperial Intelligence. I will accompany you. Mega Security War 23 has been exposed, and analyzing and overcoming my new situation should prove sufficient stimulation. You mean to destroy us? Yes, I do. We know it's an understatement, but be wary, Cypher. We'll go on ahead to the ship. You wanted something, Vector? We do not neglect our duties. We are Dawn Herald. We do this for the nest. Agent? We've had another request from Fulner Eth, our ally inside the diplomatic service. We need to take a short leave. I heard you talking to the emissaries of the nest. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. The distance from our kin is unusual and causes rifts. Fulner's stock is rising, but he needs further acclaim before he can push for a Killic Imperial alliance. He's asked us to visit a former Republic governor named Yogana Thanoth and win his cooperation by turning him into a joiner. So you're supposed to strip a man of his individuality and make him part of the nest? We'd hoped Fulner wanted us for our diplomatic skills, not for this. The joining should be a gift, but we will find a way. Whatever you decide, I'll back you. Good luck. Thank you. back. Did you find your man? We spoke to the Republic Governor. If you'll join us, we'll report the details to Fulner Eth. My friends, it's been too long. Fulner, we assume you've heard from Thenoth. He contacted me from an Imperial transport. Apparently, we promised to work with him. Not what I requested. But the service can make do. There was no need to make him a joiner when he was amenable to discussion. 
You haven't lost your touch as a diplomat after all. Not entirely, no. You kept your promise. Thanoth's assistance resulted in my promotion. I will keep my promise to you. Some important people waiting that, uh, They're very interested in a potential Killick alliance. You arranged this? As soon as I knew we could work together. Check the data I'm streaming to your main console. Thank you, Folna. Excuse us a moment, Agent. It's like talking to a bug wearing a man's skin. I don't know how you stand it. I don't understand. You helped him. We're practical people, and we take the tools we're given. But those creatures are anathema to everything the Empire stands for. There's no place for great men in a hive mind. Only animal instinct. I'll be relieved when you people finish this scheme and get rid of the colony for good. Agent, they listened. They don't understand yet, but they listened. The diplomatic service has requested my aid and wants to initiate relations with the colony. Listen, Falna Earth is keeping his deal, but he's repulsed by Killix. We can't trust him. He admits it? We always did get an odd sense from him. It's out of his hands now, though. We should watch him, but we'll be focused on the future. Agent, there's something we want you to know. Our obsession lately has been with the colony and the diplomatic service. We're sure you've noticed that we've been distant. We were getting close for a while. Then you pulled back. Yes. It wasn't intended. We are finished repairing ourselves. We found the part of our mind that understood humanity, and we are relearning how to use it. We couldn't have done this without you. And we don't want to be distant anymore. No more disappearing when things get difficult. What we did was necessary. But we won't go through it again. What will be the next verse of our song? Have you really forgotten what comes next? We haven't relearned everything, but we'll work on it. Cypher, something hit us from the docking bay. I shall observe your investigation with interest. I am Pashan Cortes, scion of House Cortes and heir to Baron Payer, sword of the castle lands of Alderaan. Pashan? I seek vengeance. You are responsible for my house's ruin. You, who pretended to be our ally. I didn't turn your mother into a terrorist, and I didn't kill her. I left your father as an ally. Listen to her, Pashan. We've known your family for a long time. We drank wine with your tutors. You are a joiner and an abomination. You almost got away, but a friend told me how to find you. Now you die. Your crimes are many, and your victims are gathering. We know your name, and we will come. Isn't that sweet? Sir, Scanlis picked up blaster fire. Is everything all right? You let an assassin simply walk on board? He had authorization from House Thor. Apparently, we should have checked more closely. Shallow breathing. Anything in particular you want done with him? No need for a diplomatic incident. Treat his wounds and put him on the next shuttle to House Thule. Yes, sir. Yes, of course. Sir, I just had a talk with Vector. Not something I do often, but I think I'm getting used to the eyes. When I was a little girl, the only aliens I ever saw were the Cuss City slaves. Now we see stranger things every day. Military research is the Bureau's purpose. Making humans stronger, faster, is one approach. Which reminds me, I'd like your permission to run some tests on Master Vector. I'm rather curious about a joiner's physiology, and Vector is keen to learn more about himself. If it won't cause harm, I don't have any objections.
Wonderful. I'll let him know the good news. And of course, I'll keep you apprised. What do you have for me? Encouraging news. Watch. Don Harold, forgive the message, but our emissaries were out of reach and we couldn't wait to link with you. Imperial scout ships entered colony space and made contact yesterday. We traded in Membrosia, Silk, and Star Maps. We could smell the men's fright, but they left in peace. Perhaps you were right after all. A long way from a signed treaty, but it's a start. It looks like your work is paying off. So far. We're in touch with the diplomatic service as well. There's still resistance, but we're progressing. Kilix and Imperials may share space in our lifetime. I've apprised the Minister of Intelligence. If he needs to contact you, he knows how. We still have a lead. We'll find the people responsible. What's going on? Agent, in our work with the diplomatic service, we find ourselves talking to people we once knew. We've been contemplating this. Hello, Vector. It's Anora. I, I don't know if you remember me, but Bryson said he thought you would, and I wanted to talk to you. I know things didn't end well, but I never forgot. You need to get out of there. Come back to Drummond Cass, and we'll get you help. We can undo what the Killicks did. There are still people who care about you. We've watched it 17 times and meditated to the static. It can be difficult to be reminded of your past. Can it? We were nearly engaged to Anora very long ago. We never considered that there are people who want us restored to what we were. But watching this, feeling nothing, we know we're no longer who we were when we loved her. If you could be restored, would you want it? No. We had to know if our reaction was unnatural, but we don't think it is. We are content. This is Watcher 3 to Cypher 9. Things are, are a little chaotic without Keeper, so I need a minute to pull our files on Voss. In the meantime, I did want someone more familiar, but... Ah! Apologies for the wait. Playing catch-up with our friends in the diplomatic service, but we think we can brief you. I didn't realize we had an expert on board. The diplomatic service has more experience with Voss than anyone. Certainly more than me. We never served on Voss personally. It's a newly discovered world, home to a simple humanoid civilization. One species, one government, one city. Voss Car. Primitive. They didn't even have spaceflight when we made first contact. But they have art and laws and culture. More importantly, they have citizens who can use the Force. Not Jedi or Sith, but something different. New Force users could change the balance of power. The Voss Force Sensitives are called Mystics. They're healers and fortune tellers, utterly revered and considered infallible. We want the Voss and the Mystics to ally with the Empire. The Republic is petitioning them too, yet they remain stubbornly neutral. Of course, half the galaxy has spies there. Who wouldn't? Keeper's files clearly indicate conspirator involvement, but no names or details. All I've got are instructions for a meet. I'll take the bait. What was her plan? There's a tea house in Voskar proper. You're supposed to wait for a contact. He'll identify himself with the phrase, anew as the spring. I don't know who he is, or whether Keeper told him about the Star Cabal, but he'll know more than I do. Assuming he's in one piece. Assuming that, watch a three out. We'll await your instructions. Most the others... This woman is a friend of a good friend. I will share her time. We'd like to see the city, if you don't mind. Maybe look up some friends in the diplomatic service. We toured the tombs of Pengalan, but they were nothing like this. And all built for a lie. A conspirator. I may be an outsider, but I need guidance. There are terrible things in my past. I sometimes wonder who I am. 
I will take you to Aminle. You must do this alone. Bastom suggested patience. You're walking the path of the Shining Man. See where it goes. Vitalikon is genetically locked. Only its creator may know what happened. Ten thousand and more are stored in the vault. Honor us by placing yours within. The Shining Man's path continues. If he was healed, he went to the vault as well. It is done, Agent. We can scent the pulse of your heart. We can taste particles of solar radiation bead-like dew on our lips. We have undergone the chrysalis of tranquility, and we are reborn. You've never mentioned this chrysalis of tranquility. The chrysalis is a ritual of the Dawn Herald. It makes us stronger better able to face the enemies of the nest and enhances our link to the universe. It requires the stillness of spirit we now have. We'll fight alongside you. My brave, strange protector. You know I'm glad I have you. We do. My father says you are like none other, so I must trust you. If he dies, if you die, I will put aside tea and avenge you. His family does care for him. Let's try to bring him back, shall we? A Vos commando. The kidnapper left him for us. <coughs> Someone really wants you dead to go digging up your past. Trying to keep you from the Shining Man. <laughs> the sparks in your body sing mournfully. I'm not making it home, but at least I'll die an Imperial instead of a blasted alien. You're really going to marry a Voss? But then we've always questioned your taste in men. If I wanted Phaeton, you would know. But we need this, and I need your support. You have it. The groom is coming now. System errors detected. Hardware errors detected. Activating defense systems. Cacophony. Something is wrong. You come for the Shining Man. Come for his machine that fell from the stars. I hold the memory of this star machine in my hand. The Shining Man corrupted it before he left. Would have burned it. I saved it. A Gormak did what intelligence couldn't. He sliced a conspirator computer. Now we bargain for his records. I stopped it last time. This time we all burn. Dying here is pointless. Hand over the data and come with me. <laughs> back at headquarters immediately. Orders from above. Above the Minister of Intelligence. Sith orders, sir. I, I need to go. We've never seen him act like that. I'm sure he's merely distracted. Shall we head home? We have news, Agent. We've been conferring lately with the Ambassadors, Moffs, Speakers for the Sith, all with their own agendas and concerns, none with any love for the Kilix. But we swayed a few, and found ways around others. Now the Diplomatic Service has agreed to seek a treaty. An alliance with the Kilix colony? It's what you've been wanting. What we've been working toward together. Some of the nests are still reluctant, Horro and Manam in particular, but all parties involved have agreed to a summit. 
we'll preside over the negotiations ourselves. I'm at your disposal. I want this to work. So do we. Thank you, Agent. Imagine. Colony and Imperial representatives in one room. It shall be interesting. Now we know how others feel when intelligence shows up unannounced. Who'd have thought the Star Cabal was so sentimental? Maybe if intelligence had nurtured our agents more, we'd still be around. We'll talk to our contacts in the diplomatic service. We'll talk to the Nest. We'll talk to House Thol. We'll find support. Onward then, into the Maw of the Dragon. You have my full support. Let's hope the Force favors the bold. Agent, you can bear witness. Dr. Lokin has agreed to hike Cass Falls with us if we visit the Cass City Opera. Vector's musical tastes are, frankly, unsophisticated. I'm only trying to help. Then we have a deal. Well, that can wait. Right now, there's something the three of us must discuss. Would you care to tell me what's going on? We're in the dark as well. As you are both aware, I've been investigating Project Protean, an off-the-books division of the Imperial Science Bureau. The people who want you dead. Precisely. Their research is focused on human-alien genetic splicing. I've studied their files, along with your own physiology, Master Vector, and I've come to a conclusion. Project Protean arranged your meeting with the Killix so they could study the joining. Why would they do that? And why Vector? Thanks to the Killix, he's stronger, more capable. An ideal soldier or infiltrator. A science experiment. For what it's worth, I don't believe it was personal. They wanted a test subject, and you were on Alderaan already. What do you think of all this? We think we are who we are. But we prefer not to be someone else's puppet. Understandable. They have files on the Killix. Ways to hurt joiners or to heal them. They may have altered Vector or simply observed him. I consider it our obligation to find Project Protean and end them. For Vector's sake as well as mine. You've pulled a lot of data on these people. Finish the job. It will be my pleasure. If you'll excuse us, we'd like to commune with the Hive. You don't want my advice, but I'll give it anyway. Vector knows who he is. Give him time to be sure of it. You said you wanted to talk? Yes, but we'd like some privacy. No crew members, no killicks, no emergencies. If you could arrange it. I can arrange it. Should I dim the lights? Pour a drink? If you like. We'll meet back shortly. Vector? I'm here, Agent. Surprise. How can you be normal? The Abia Nest taught me to repress the pheromonic bond. I can hold it for a little while. This is a time for us to be together. One you needn't share with the Ouroboro or the colony. You're sweet, but the man I care for isn't human. We didn't know, but we expected to learn one day. We're glad it happened like this. And we are glad to be with you. Trust me with who you are, because I'm glad to be with you too. We will remember. The others will return soon, and another crisis will demand our attention. I'm not done with you. I'll make sure we get another private moment, and soon. We'll count on you for that. Enemy reinforcement! Ready when you are, Agent. Scanning the mercenary docking codes. Authenticity confirmed. You can land a speeder on the conspirator's airship. Remember, your job is to get yourself captured. 
When you break under interrogation, tell them... I'll tell them secret reinforcements are coming to Corellia. That the Empire and Republic aren't evenly matched after all. You're very good at your job, you know. If I don't hear from you in 24 hours, I'll try to arrange a rescue. But I don't know what you'll find, and I can't make a promise. We'll be at your back. We will come out of this. It's a masquerade gone mad. Welcome to the festivities. May I offer you a costume? Who are all these people? What is this ship? This is the Apocalypse Barge. Our guests are the most important and influential people on Corellia. Here to enjoy themselves one last time. The war will see our planet ruined. And we will see the war from above! Please enjoy the party. is gone, dismantled by the salvage droids. <laughs> I'm staying until I'm ash and bone, darling. It isn't my favorite ex-intelligence agent. Retirement's keeping you busy. The truth is, I'm glad you made it. We didn't have a chance to say goodbye. You're hosting parties now. These people were Corellia's movers and shakers. The obscenely rich. My apocalypse party keeps them focused on themselves instead of doing anything constructive. A good host attends in person. Is Kaleo still on trial? She would have loved this party. And yes, it's also an excuse to see the end of the world in style. No more Jedi, no more Sith, a new galaxy. It'll be the same galaxy. You'll just have new enemies. Not once Corellia spirals out of control, the Republic and Empire will obliterate each other, and the four sensitive orders will go extinct. For the first time in 1400 years, ordinary people rule. No more getting caught in crusades or begging at temples for scraps. No need to be afraid, just one galaxy, united at peace. And the Star Cabal as its undisputed ruler. We already control what's important. It's time to stop hiding. You know, you're the only person I can talk to about this. The others, they don't really chat like you and me. That's why I'm sad it has to end. We can taste the foreign substance. Come with gas. Figured you wouldn't cooperate. Lock her up and prep her for interrogation. something we wanted, Moff Samar's report. Now, we have questions. Talk to Imperial Intelligence. They're good with answers. You should have kept your brainwashing program. It'd be less painful. Moff Samar's report. What did it say, and who did you tell? <laughs> Agent, hang on. Someone will come. Take him away, get ready for the next round. My pain threshold. Lapsing in and out. Look, we could do this forever. Ready to talk? Moff Zamar's report. It showed we didn't have enough troops. Reinforcements are on the way. A new fleet from the Aurel Sector, led by a Sith Lord. Tell the boss. 
Now, relax. Vacation's over. You get to check out. Does that mean you're letting me go? I kill you, the Empire gets suspicious. But there's a dangerous planet out there. You could start running. Me? I'd start saying goodbye. Move slowly. You did your job. You should be proud. We never thought we'd be the sort to bomb historical sites. Why don't you step away from the bomb? Won't do either of us any good. Agent, I've been continuing my research into Project Protean, the fine people who want me dead, and who are responsible for Vector's condition. I have the location of their headquarters. Give me the details, Doctor. Protean's main laboratory is on a planetoid in the subterral sector. Security is tight, but not impervious. I've arranged transportation for Vector and myself. He deserves to know the truth about his victimizers. Once you arrive at the laboratory, what's your goal? I plan to learn exactly why Protean tried to kill me and recover their data on Master Vector. The rest we can play by ear. I want that man back in one piece. Understood? Of course. We'll see you again when this is over. We have returned from Project Protean. The task is done. And I have promises to keep. It seems Protean was based on prior experiments in alien biology. My prior experiments. I had no proof until I discovered certain former associates in the Protean lab. But I've ensured that they will not misuse my research again. What did you do at the research facility? Vector and I entered the facility as planned and interviewed the woman in charge. In return for my generosity sparing the laboratory, I've been appointed unofficial Protean director. From now on, every experiment, every assay goes through me. That's quite a victory. What do you plan to do with that authority? Protean serves a function, bringing the benefits of alien biology to all people. Starting with its work on joiners. But your Protean files have already been deleted, and the Killick experiments stopped. I'm glad everything was resolved satisfactorily. Anything else? I believe I've told you everything. If you'll excuse me, I have a great deal of research to catch up on. We think we're never going to trust him. And we think it doesn't matter. We're glad he's on our team. We are set, Agent. Preparations for the Kilik Imperial Summit are underway, and the first ambassadors are arriving on site. We're meeting on Alderaan, in the House of Thule. We couldn't think of a more appropriate place. We'll be attending. What's the agenda? Daisana of the Tatooine Nest will be there, along with delegations from eleven more hives. Folna Eth will be among our people from the diplomatic service. More than any other Imperial, You've seen the nests and how they function. Your word could carry weight. Before we leave, we'd appreciate your honest assessment. One final report that we can present to the Imperial Summit attendees. An alliance with the Killigs would benefit the Empire immensely, and I'm not afraid to say so. I'll have a report to you by the time you reach Alderaan. We look forward to it. Agent, the summit is over. It was not without incident. Daisana of the Lesai Nest is dead. I'm sorry to hear it. I know you felt a connection to Daisana. Yes, we did. 
Volner F., our contact in the diplomatic service, attempted to sabotage the proceedings. Daisana was caught in an explosion, saving an ambassador. And when we traced it to Faulkner, he had a speech prepared. Damn you! Listen to them. Do you want to ally the Empire with these creatures? Everything they do defies what we stand for. The Kiliks are an abomination. Our Empire is based on the notion that a great individual rises to the top and the lesser masses follow. The Killick hive mind devours greatness, absorbs every possibility into a mire of primal instinct. We found his words troubling and his actions more so. He's one man, and a crazy man at that. Trying to bomb the summit proves it. He's wrong, you know. The colony shares the Empire's ideals. It only expresses them differently. The colony allows billions of Kiliks and joiners to serve something greater, the Nest Consciousness. Just as Imperials serve the Sith and the Emperor. That is what we told the others. That is how we signed a treaty between the Empire and the Kiliks. I wish it hadn't gone the way it did. We couldn't have known Fulner would go so far. You and Aizana, even Fulner. You all brought us to this point. Our future is hopeful. You've got time on your hands. Why don't you work me into that future somehow? We'll see what we can do. We end a verse in the song of the universe. Soon, we will hear another. What can I do for you, Vector? We've been speaking to friends in the diplomatic service putting Dr. Lokin's lessons in persuasion to good use. It took some brokering to find a gift for you. An Ulikuo gemstone once owned by the Tapani noble houses. Ah, you finally figured out how to win me over. And just in time, apparently. Traditionally, the Tapani nobles present the stone as part of a marriage proposal. Which is what this is. We know you can never join us. You can never share our thoughts. But if you can't live in our world, we can live in yours. Forever. What if I could come to your world? I could become a joiner too. It would mean giving up everything you are. Everything you wish to become. We have no desire to see you do that. We love you. Will you marry us? I will marry you, Vector. I love you too. Then we have an agreement. We don't have a ceremony planned, and for the sake of your cover, perhaps it can't be officially sanctioned. But it is real. We are one. It's a long time since the cave. It hasn't always been good, but you've always been worth it. As have you, Agent. You always will be. Yes, Vector? Agent, we'll never be a great spy or covert assault operative. But you've helped us to be a diplomat and a Dawn Herald. We are grateful for your patience and your guidance. You don't have to be grateful. We're here to support each other. Nonetheless, we received a message from the Kilix. The colony embraces the Imperial Alliance and offered us the chance to become Dawn Herald to all nests. We refused as our priorities are clear. We'll work with you and defend your legacy until the end. You clean them out yet? Or did they realize you cheat? Cheating's the point. Hell, it's good to see you. We're glad you're all right, but how? Your old boss has set up the escape. I've been running jobs for them. Pay's bad, but I wanted my crack at the scum who messed with us. Vector, I'd like to talk to him alone. He could be an ally, but don't forget who you are. If the Empire wins, victory will come at a cost. 
I believe that cost is too high. We have a deal, Arden. When the Republic needs me, send word. I believe we will. Just be ready to wait. In the meantime, I can learn from your example. Time to return, we think. There are people waiting. Prepare the ship to launch. We are leaving. Analyzing jump trajectories. Yeah, because us hicks can't use a navicomputer. How was your meeting? Is everything all right? Imperial intelligence has fallen, but it doesn't change our duty. We soldier on. Dedication. One thing Imperials and Killicks have in common. I think it's inspiring, sir. Did we imply otherwise? Agent. Doing a little research, huh? It's nothing that can't wait. Well, good. Because I did that sweep like you asked. Found something. What are we looking at? A homing beacon sends a broadcast, not a direct signal. So we can't discover directly who's tracking us. Transceivers along our route pick up the beacon's signal. If I triangulate the origin of someone collecting the beacon's data from those transceivers... As ever, we are enthralled with your mind. But we don't believe we have ever heard of this planet. Rishi? I know it. Pirates and all that. Never been, though. Then it's your lucky day, Kalia. We're going to Rishi.
I trust your long sleep was restful. Very. I don't suppose you've heard from Kaleo, Vector? Anyone? Once you were gone, I no longer needed to remain among your crew. It should come as no surprise. After so many years, we didn't know if your aura would remain the same. But it still feels like home. Vector! It is good to hear your song again, Agent. I didn't know if you'd ever find your way back to me. If you were even alive. We are here now. We are sorry it took us so long. We searched for you endlessly, through the eyes of the entire nest. Then the Eternal Fleet attacked, and the Sith Empire conscripted the Killix to join the fight. They sent us to the worst battles, sacrificed us as cannon fodder. So many of us were slaughtered. We felt every light blink out. I can't imagine how hard that must have been for you. We still feel their absence. We must protect what is left. We're ending our agreement with the Empire to pledge our loyalty to you. From now on, the Killix will fight for the Alliance, for you, and... We want to return to your side, Agent. Without you, we are empty. When you disappeared, the Nest limited our connection to them. They couldn't bear to experience losing you. Vector. Hearing your song again, it's as though we've awoken from a nightmare. We want to come home, Agent. We... I... love you. Your home is always with me, Vector. I never stopped loving you. It is... difficult to describe how this makes us feel. Then maybe you should show me. As you wish. Now our future can finally be written. A new song begins, Commander. We look forward to hearing its opening verse.